Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials. Welcome to your 22nd GIMP tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a few of the tools in the Colors tab. So let's get started. Um, I'm just going to click on Brightness Contrast, fourth one down. So when you click on it, dialogue's going to pop up like usual, and you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff. It's really simple though. Uh, the Brightness slider, if I just move this over here, is really self-explanatory so is the preview button so is well not really a button checkbox so is the reset button contrast also really self-explanatory um now there's a couple other things that like presets i never showed you that before officially on how to use the presets um thing so i'm going to do that uh in a bit but there's a couple other buttons you might want to know about. For example, the help button. Now, when you click on it, it's going to give you a bunch of documentation for that specific tool that had the help button attached to it. So, uh, I think there was help. Let me just see. There was probably help button in color balance, help button in colorize. So, you know, it's not just the brightness and contrast tool. It, the help button's probably everywhere. Um, there's a button here that says edit these settings as levels. You click on it. The levels dialog pops up for the levels tool. And I'm not sh going to show you how to use it in this tutorial because that's a whole nother tool. Uh, I think it just will take these settings, whatever you sl um, slid the sliders to, and it'll put it in that other tool. So now most everything on here um, you've like actually seen me click on besides the presets uh, stuff. Now these three buttons up here, this triangle in a box, this uh, red cross that happens to be blue, and then this drop down menu for the presets. Uh, what presets are, I think I explained them. If you have settings you want to save, you use the presets. Well, I'm finally going to actually show you how to use them. So, if you want to save, like, uh, settings, you click on the blue cross that isn't red. Then you're going to name the settings. So, for example, if I wanted to name it a setting, I don't really know if the proper grammar for this. I'm just going to say a setting. So... Hit OK, unless you want to cancel it, of course. And let's say you click on Reset. Oh no, all your settings are lost. No, they're actually not. Just go to the Presets drop-down menu, and you're going to see a setting, or whatever you named it. Hopefully, it's not a horrible name like that. Anyway, when you click on it, all the stuff's going to go back to normal. And I think this isn't just for the brightness and contrast tool. It's for, like, every... Uh, like, I think it's for every tool in GIMP, actually. Um, I'm not really sure about that claim, but I'm pretty sure most of the tools in GIMP at least have a presets thing to them. Even the brushes, and I'm actually going to get into that in another tutorial. But basically, let's say you want to take um, these settings, and let's say uh, your friend has GIMP, and you want to send him the preset or the settings. What you got to do is go to export you gotta click on this thing click export settings to file and you're gonna hopefully not see a bunch of weird names for stuff here you're going to name it whatever you want and then click save now okay so now this officially just saved the uh, preset to an actual file that has been created. Now, before I import the settings, what I want to do is I want to uh, click reset. And I also want to click on the little triangle inside of the thing. Click manage settings. Now, you you should see like a bunch of things. Import settings from a file. Export and delete the selected settings. Now, I'm going to take a setting and I'm going to delete it because I don't like it. But there is a way to get it back because I did export it uh, to a file. I can import it from that same file. So if I click on import, 
and then you can see whatever you want is down here click open and ta-da it's going to actually um, like actually import those settings from the file now I just want to let you know that importing the settings from a file is not creating a preset there are no presets in the drop down menu if you go to manage settings no presets or settings well they're the same thing but there is absolutely nothing saved except for that file itself so um let's say you wanted to go to manage settings import settings from a file why isn't that working okay this is weird import okay i have no idea why that's not working i'm just going to go and import it from here and then you can actually add the setting to your favorite so you have to save it um like you have to import it from the file and then save it using this dialogue or whatever dialogue you're working on uh so to speak so that is how you use the brightness contrast tool and how you save presets in gimp or settings which are the same thing so anyway uh one down two to go i'm gonna go to posturize i guess it's in order why not preview uh reset i guess it just is um default at three you have the help okay cancel red x i guess and then you have posturized levels the only thing unique about this tool so basically what this is is it looks really high contrast and that's kind of because it is but it's not just making contrast what it's doing is if you slide it all the way to the right 256 i'm pretty sure that's not a coincidence that definitely has something to do with rgb values so it's reducing the number of colors the farther it is slid to the left now as you can see 30 and 256 they really look the same but like pay attention to right here for example you're going to see the more i slide it over the more sloppy i guess and the less colors less detail is actually going to be in the image and uh yeah so you can see five four three two and it stuck it to worst countdown ever the point is that the more you slide to the left the less colors there will be in the image it's going to i don't think contrast is the official word but it's going to be light contrast i'm not going to lie to you and say yes it's just contrast it's just another way of saying contrast it might not be but the effect is strikingly similar now what I want to tell you is posturized levels. Posturized levels right now has high contrast and is two. That does not mean there are two colors in the image. For example, red, black, yellow, white, and you can even see some blue here. Uh, posturized levels, if you want to know exactly what that means, look up the documentation with your handy help button right here. Uh, scroll down to the interesting part right here. Yeah, so it's not actually how many colors are in the image, but it's more or less like combinations, not permutations, I guess, but like kind of like exponential weird stuff. So if you want to study this for a test, uh, you, you'll, you can just research it right there. But otherwise, if you just want layman's terms, more to the left, um, less colors there are. So anyway okay this is actually pretty good progress for this video uh desaturate uh click on that because that's a tool i'm explaining next now desaturate well it removes colors obviously it's going to take the image turn it into a black and well not a black and white like there's only black and only white but it's like a grayscale i think that's the term for it a grayscale image but when it does this it's not actually like how do i say it? 
like there's actually settings in GIMP that you can turn your image into like an RGB image Th that means that you can use colors if it's a grayscale you can only use black and white and the grays in between now that means that you can't even add colors if you tried but this is not turning the image into a physically grayscale image it's just like taking the properties and making it look like one that's the best explanation i think i will be able to give so you after you use this tool you can still draw on it like you would a normal rgb image but if it was like you can actually i think turn the image into a grayscale image which means that you won't even be able to like use the brush to paint over a shade of red or green or blue or yellow or whatever so i just want to get that clear it might be useful one day uh preview obvious uh help okay cancel reset reset when you do it i guess it'll just reset to lightness uh it chooses the shade of gray based on lightness luminosity or the average now i was i'm was actually thinking of explaining this myself but why explain it myself when you can just click on the help button and get a perfect perfect um answer as to how it calculates it now if you're like i don't know if you really want to know what these mean i guess you'll have to uh research it yourself i guess i'm not trying to be rude but i have no idea what this really means i really don't so there i guess um uh, the the settings are slightly different they're not too different but they are kind of different you might just want to choose the one that looks best or choose the one that scientifically suits you but for now i guess that's it for this tutorial um Oh yeah, I wanted to explain one more thing. So help uh, button right here. Go to about GIMP. Now your GIMP version, if it's not as of what is it, eight twenty four twenty sixteen. If it's not um, this version right here, you might want to update it because they did come out with an update. Uh, it doesn't really. It's not adding any features. I don't think. It's just something about when it saves the project file it'll make it less vulnerable to viruses and all that uh scary stuff and um yeah i guess that's what it does so it's not like you have to relearn all of these tools uh if you don't wanna i guess it's these videos hopefully are still going to be relevant to um today even though there was an update i just updated it like a few minutes ago so yeah i guess just get the update it's nice and uh go from there so i think this is it for this tutorial um i don't know if you have any questions comment them otherwise i'll see you in the next one